Okay, as I promised before, here are some more videos about CERN. The way on which I'm currently walking is called Root Democrit. He was not only a very famous philosopher, but he also published many uh, publications in physics. So what you can see here in this video is that um, CERN is surrounded by mountains and now you have a very nice view to the Jura Mountains in the background. If you take a look to the left, you will find the proton synchrotron, which is not only one of the first accelerators built at CERN in the 1950s, but also still one of the pre-accelerators for the LHC. If you go the street upwards, then after some time you find the place uh, where the border passes um, CERN, uh, the border between uh, Switzerland and France. So without even noticing, you just go from one country into the other, in the same way how I am doing it now. Then a few meters uh, more upwards you will find Route Feynman, uh, which, uh, which is very close to Restaurant 2. Now this is another cafeteria on the French side of CERN. And if you are once here, you should uh, really go there and um, yeah, and, and try their food. It's, it's actually very tasty there. Unfortunately, it is just closed at the moment, so I cannot go inside. Again, a few meters away from there, um, just across the street, you find the very famous data center of CERN. Yeah, and if you go inside and uh, the entrance doors are usually open 24-7, you find very useful and nice information about um, yeah, the history of CERN data and uh, how, for example, the World Wide Web has been developed at CERN. And just outside of the building, you can find also a nice gimmick, um, which is a tree where some computer mice, old computer mice are hanging and a hutch where they placed mice inside, um, which is actually a word play. Yeah, and just again a few meters away from there, you find the antimatter factory of CERN, um, yeah, with the, for example, with the antiproton decelerator and um, yeah, a lot of nice physics is done there. Unfortunately, one cannot enter there without a dosimeter.